Okay, so oxidation and reduction in terms of uh, electron transfer. By definition, oxidation occurs when a reactant loses electrons, uh, and reduction occurs when a reactant gains electrons. It's like hydrogen, right? It's like hydrogen. Uh. So if you lose hydrogen, it's oxidation. Lose electron is also oxidation. Uh. Gain hydrogen is uh, reductions. Gain electron is also reductions. Uh, as I told you just now, the two methods that we discussed just now uh, apply to certain reactions only, not all reactions. Eh? Okay, but this one, this uh, transfers of electrons. Eh? Okay, you can use it to all reactions. Okay, to judge eh? to identify whether there's oxidations or reductions or not. But usually, eh, most of the students, eh, they it's very hard for them to see the transfers of electrons. The electrons transfer from uh, which substance to which substance is very hard to see. Okay, so usually you're not encouraged to use this method, even though it's very useful, okay, but you're not encouraged uh, to use it. Eh? I would suggest you to use a fourth method, which we are going to discuss in next lessons. But anyway, you, you still need to know this. Eh? Okay, now let's see this example. Uh, this is the reactions of uh, copper oxide to react with uh, magnesium, eh? okay to become copper and uh, magnesium oxide. Of course, uh, through the gain or lose oxygen, uh, uh, you will know whether it undergoes oxidations or reductions. Uh, okay, uh, this one should be arrow. Uh. Uh, let me correct it. Okay, so this should be an arrow. Uh. Copper react with magnesium uh, to become copper and uh, magnesium oxide. Now, <coughs> in these reactions, um, this copper oxide, eh, okay, copper oxide, uh, it contains copper ions, copper ion and oxide ions, eh, copper ion and oxide ions, and this uh, magnesium oxide, okay, it contains a uh, magnesium ion and oxide ions, okay. So in these reactions, the copper ions to become copper after the reactions, eh, and the magnesium metal, uh, this one is not ion, uh, magnesium metals, it become magnesium ions uh, after the reactions. Okay? So in these reactions, in these reactions, uh, copper ions to become copper, it gain two electrons to form copper metal. And uh, we write the equations in this way. Uh, we write uh, copper ions receive two electrons uh, uh, to form copper metal. Uh, that is how we write the equations. Uh, okay, if we plus two electrons on the left hand side, uh, left hand side, and uh, this is receiving electrons, uh, okay, gain electrons, uh, gain electrons. So we say copper ions, the copper ions gain two electrons, gain two electrons uh, to become copper metal. Okay, and this is just half of the. Uh, reactions only yeah? because these reactions involve copper to uh, copper ion to become copper and magnesium to become magnesium ion so this is just half of it eh? so therefore we call this a half equations okay this is a half equations in these reactions okay in these reactions uh, can you please tell these copper ions it undergoes oxidations or reductions it undergo reductions why because it gain electrons it receive electrons eh? okay let's go back to the definition just now okay so this one so if it gain electron then it's a reductions it's a reduction eh? so so in this case it gain electron eh? so this is a reductions reactions okay so this is a reductions reactions so that is how we identify whether it's a reduction or oxidation through the transfers of electrons, eh? okay? But as I told you, uh, for most of the students, it's very hard for them to see the transfers of electrons. For example, eh? it's very hard for, for them to see, oh, this is copper ion and copper metals, and the copper ions receive two electrons. It's uh, very hard for students to see this. Now, for the same reactions, eh? okay, just now, uh, this one, eh? so we can see that the magnesium, it gained uh, sorry, it loses uh, electrons, uh, magnesium to become magnesium ions, right? Initially, it's magnesium, uh, it, become, it become magnesium ions. Uh. So, 
the magnesium metal loses two electrons to form magnesium ions in the magnesium oxide. Eh? And the half equation is like this. Okay, so we write it this way. Eh? Okay, see this carefully. So we have magnesium metal before the reactions. Eh? And then we have magnesium ion after the reactions. Last times, we write the half equation this way. Okay, if it's loose electrons, then we minus electrons. Yeah, if we gain electrons like just now, okay, the copper ions gain electrons, and then we write the uh, plus electrons. Eh? So we plus uh, two electrons. Okay, if we gain electrons, then we plus two electrons. Okay, and if we lose electrons, then we minus two electrons. But as I told you, this is last time. Okay, last time. Eh? Uh, now you cannot use this anymore. Okay, uh, now in SVM, eh, they would like you to write it this way. They want you to write magnesium and uh, magnesium ions. So they want you to move these two electrons to the uh, right hand side. Okay, and uh, here is minus two electrons. If we move to the right hand side, then it will become plus two electrons. Plus two electrons. Okay, uh, so you cancel this. Okay, you cannot apply this. Then you have you have to use this methods. Magnesium to become magnesium ion and then plus two electrons. Eh? Okay. Now if we plus two electrons on the right hand side, it means eh, okay, this is uh loses electrons. Eh? Okay, it loses electrons. If we plus electrons on the left hand side, plus electrons on the left hand side, this is gain electrons. But if we plus electrons on the right hand side, this is loose electrons. Eh? And uh, if this is loose electrons, then uh, is this oxidations or reductions? Oxidations or reductions? Loose electron. Okay. Loose electron is oxidation and gain electron is reductions. Eh? So this is uh, oxidations. Okay. So we say the copper ion undergo reductions and the magnesium metal undergoes uh, oxidations uh, this is called the half equations uh, this is the half equations and this is also the half equations that's half equation that we we learned just now right okay half equations and in exam sometimes they may want you to write the ionic equations the ionic equations uh, of these redox reactions okay now how to write the ionic equations from the half equations Okay, what we do is we join or we combine these two half equations together, then it will become an ionic equation. So for example, uh, for this one, so the ionic equations, uh, first we have the half, we write the half equation first. So we have this uh, copper ions receiving two electrons to become copper metal. Okay, and then we have this uh, magnesium metals uh, loses two electrons to become magnesium ions okay so uh, we combine these two together okay combine these two together uh, then we have this uh, copper ions right on the left hand side so we write copper ions okay plus and then we have magnesium so mg and you see uh, these electrons uh, these electrons on the left hand side and these electrons on the right hand side they cancel they cancel each other uh. So you don't need to include the electrons. So in ionic equation, don't need to include the electrons. Okay. Uh, then on the uh, right hand side, we have copper, Cu, and we have uh, magnesium ions plus Mg, two positive. Uh, then this, this one, uh, oh, let me write here, okay. This one is called the ionic equation ionic equations of the reactions uh, so that's how we identify the oxidations and reductions uh, through transfers of electrons and then uh, how we write the half equations okay half equations and how we combine the half equations to make it uh, the ionic equations okay so in exam they may ask you to write the half equations and they may ask you to uh, write the ionic equations uh, and they may ask you uh, it undergoes oxidations or reductions and they may ask you which one is oxidizing agent and which one is reducing agent uh, copper ion and magnesium eh? 
which one is the oxidizing agent? Okay, now magnesium undergoes oxidation, right? So for sure it's reducing agent. Eh? So magnesium for sure is reducing agent. Why? Because it undergoes oxidation. Okay, it undergoes oxidation. This copper ions, eh? copper ions or copper oxide, eh? okay? Uh, it undergoes reductions. This copper oxide, or you can say copper ion, eh? it undergoes uh, reductions. So therefore it's oxidizing agent. So that is the oxidizing agent and reducing agent. Okay, this exercise, uh, they want you to state whether it uh, undergoes oxidation or reductions. Eh? Okay, the first one. This one is the uh, oxidation or reductions. So this is lose or gain electrons. We plus electrons on the left hand side. So this one is lose electron. Eh? It lose electrons. Eh? So lose electron is oxidations so this is oxidation reactions okay next one b oxidations or reductions uh still oxidations right because it loses electron eh? oxidation c okay c it plus electrons on the left hand side so this is gain electron Okay, gain electron. Eh? So it's a reductions. Reductions, reactions. And the last one. Oxygen become oxide. So again, this is gain electrons. Eh? Gain electrons and therefore is reductions. Okay, reductions. Eh? Okay, that is exercise one. Okay, oxidations, oxidations, reductions, reductions. The last one before oxidation state that we still have one more example okay half equations for these reactions and uh, the ionic equations and then uh, from this half equation here tell whether it undergoes oxidations or reductions and then tell whether uh, which one is uh, tell which one is oxidizing agent and which one is the reducing agent for reductions reaction show is oxidizing agent yes reduction reactions show oxidizing agent Oxidation reactions, sure, uh, reducing agent. Uh, for oxygen, hydrogen, electrons, all the same? Yes. No matter which methods you use, it's the same, all the same. Okay, as long as you see reduction, then it's oxidizing agents. If you see oxidation, then it's reducing agent. Okay, for all kinds of reactions. Write the half equations. After that, so tell whether it's uh, oxidation or reductions, and then so combine the half equations to become ionic equations, and then to tell which one is oxidizing agent and reducing agent okay so let's see yeah let's see uh, before the reaction, we have magnesium and chlorine. Eh? Okay, after reaction, we have this uh, magnesium chloride, and we know that in this magnesium chloride, there are magnesium ions and chloride ions. Eh? Before the reactions is magnesium, and after the reaction is magnesium ions, and before the reaction is chlorine, and after the reaction is chloride. Okay. Now to write the half equations, uh, you you need to write this uh, before and after. After that, you need to include the electrons. Eh? Include the electrons. Now. Uh, where should you put the electrons? How do we know it's gain or lose electrons? Okay. This can be done by balancing the charge of the equations. For example, this one, magnesium, the charge is zero. This one, the charge is uh, positive two, okay? So to make the charge uh, equal at both sides, uh, we need to plus two electrons. Uh, now you need to know that electrons are uh, the charge for each electron is negative one eh? okay so if we plus two electrons that means we plus a uh, negative two eh? okay negative two so positive two and negative two if you add it together then the charge becomes zero right oh okay uh, then we plus the electrons on the right hand side okay you cannot plus the electrons on the left hand side because if you plus the electrons on the left hand side plus two electron eh, then the charge will be negative two so left hand side negative two right hand side positive two then it's not correct okay mm. so if you don't know where to put your electrons eh, uh, then you try to 
uh, balance the charge at both side. Here zero, here positive two, then we must plus a negative two, plus two electron here to make the charge balance. Eh? Okay, so that is uh, one of the methods eh, to uh, to put uh, the the position to, to put the electrons uh, at the uh, left hand side or uh, right hand side. Okay, for this one, uh, now we have two chlorine here, so therefore we need to have two chloride uh, to make uh, the atoms balance. Uh, two chlorines, two chloride. After that, uh, let's check the charge here. Negative two, here negative two. Okay, now so in this case we need to put the electrons on the left hand side or right hand side if we want to balance the charge. The electron should be put on the left hand side, the left hand side here or the right hand side here to balance the charge. Here negative two, here zero, eh? Zero. So we must plus two electrons on the left hand side so that we have a negative two here as well. Okay, now the charge balance already. Okay. So this these are the half equations for these reactions. And then so we combine these two together to form the ionic equations. On the left hand side, we have magnesium and chlorine. Okay, you don't need to include the electron because they cancel off already. Yeah? And then so on the uh, right hand side, we have magnesium ions and two chloride. Okay, uh, then this is the ionic equations. So we combine these two together. This is the, uh, what, what do you have? on the left hand side okay and this is what you have on the right hand side right so left hand side we have magnesium chlorine and electrons magnesium and chlorine uh, electron cancer okay electron cancer two electron two electron cancer and uh, right hand side we have magnesium and chloride why there's a two here because cl2 we have two chlorine okay here just one chloride so we need to have two chloride to make it balance so that is the ionic equations, okay? Uh, okay, just now I forget to put, okay? Uh, to label or to state which one uh, is oxidations and which one is reductions. Huh? Okay, magnesium to magnesium ions, releasing two electrons or losing two electrons. So this one, oxidations or reductions? Oxidations or reductions, lose electron. Lose electrons, oxidations or reductions. Oxidations, eh? so this is oxidations. Okay, uh, chlorine gain electrons, eh? plus electrons on the left hand side, gain electrons, so it's a uh, reductions. The one undergo oxidation is a uh, reducing agent, so magnesium is reducing agents. Okay, and the one undergoes reductions is uh, oxidizing agents, so chlorine is oxidizing agents.